Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners to Advance. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the next sweep type in Katia V5 generative shape design. So, in this lecture, let's see uh, the line profile type with a tangency surface option in sweep type. So, let us start with the shape design. So, start shape and then generative shape design. So, we will keep the uh, part name as it is here and then uh, now we are in the generative shape design workbench so let's try to see uh, what are the inputs for the uh, tangency surface so if you see the profile type is line type and then the subtypes we have already seen the, the upper one two limits limit and middle with reference surface with reference curve so now let's see this uh, with, ref with tangency surface so if you see uh, the inputs required are the guide curve one and the tangent surface if you see in the uh, pictorial representation here then you can see the guide curve is there and then uh, this is the tangency surface and uh, we can provide the spine uh, or maybe some sometimes the the, uh, the guide curve act as a spine and then there is a relimiter one and relimiter two as well uh, for this command so let's uh, see uh, with the help of practical demonstration so i'll create some profiles here just uh, select a sketch positioning and then we'll uh, create a profile on the front plane just click on ok and then i will use the arc here center point arc so select the center and then uh, select the first point and then select the second point so here again you can you can provide the dimension let's provide the dimension as 100 mm and then exit the workbench So now uh, we have this uh, we have this guide curve, and now we need to provide the uh, reference curve reference curve. So before that, I uh, will just uh, uh, extrude this, so so that we can we can have the tangency surface. So let's extrude this on the reverse direction. Let's make it to 300 pvv, and then click on OK. So now we have this uh, tangency surface. So let's create one guide curve now okay so for that uh, let's create a plane which is offset from this exit plane and let's make it to uh, maybe 400 and then click on ok now i will sketch on this plane so select again a position sketch and then select this plane and then click on ok and now i will create a profile let's create a profile so create a line here simply i will create a line random line i will create and then exit after it and now we can we can go with the sweep command here so now we have the guide curve with us and then we have this transition surface as well so let's select the guide curve we'll select this and then the tangency surface and then you can just click on preview so you can see there is a uh, surface created which is nothing but which is passing through this guide curve and which is tangent to the tangency surface and click on ok so this way we can use this command and if you if you want to uh, let's say if you want to use if you want to use this as a line then uh, uh, instead of line we can use the spline you can do that just double click on the line here you can you can use this uh, fit all in so that that uh, object gets fit to the screen so just delete this and we'll use this line let's see if it works or not so create this line and then exit after it so there is some error coming here so i will just delete this maybe just double click on this and we can select the sketch and, uh, and and this tangent surface now there is no error just click on preview and then click on ok so you can see uh, the the uh, sweep surface is uh, in line with this and align with this uh, spline as well here uh, we can we can also create uh, the relimiters just double click on this and here you will see the relimiters option you can see the default uh, sketch 2 is assigned as uh, spline which is nothing but our guide curve 
so select this delimiter and if you want to create it just uh, maybe i will create at the midpoint so select this curve here and it will create sorry this is wrong let me clear this let me create a, create a plane here and then i will i will use here the normal to the curve and then you can select the curvature here and then i will i will choose at default middle or else you can simply create a midpoint here as well or you can either create a customized uh, point uh, based on the uh, distance dimensions just click on ok and if you click on preview let's click on preview and click on ok now you can see the the sweep has been created between the delimiter and the original plane similar to this you can use uh, the delimiter 2 as well so let's try to create a delimiter let me create a plane here again i will again use this normal to the curve option and instead of this i will use the create point option and then you can select on curve option select this curvature and then you can select this ratio as well or you can provide the dimension along the direction and a distance on the curve so let me try to provide as point 2 where it is going it is going outside so maybe let's try uh, to provide as 0 0.75 and then click on ok and you can see the plane is created at the point and then again click on ok and again click on ok so now you can see the the sweep has been created in between these two relimiters relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 again if you if you want to change something let's say if you want to change some ratio here the dimension the location of the plane then you can you can do that here from here let's say 0.9 then once you once you update it the the sweep is, is also gets updated based on that location so in this way you can use this with tangency surface option in line profile type so let me go to the sweep again so now we have remaining as with draft direction and with two tangency surfaces so which we are going to uh, discuss in detail in our uh, next tutorial so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos if you do have any any queries or any doubts you can mention in the comment section below thank you so much thanks for watching